as would make one of your countries counties right actually he made money in such a way as if he was really ready he was really able to make his own county means a little country a little state right lying along the Arkansas river west of the Fort Dodge it is grazing land and lumber land and arabic land and mineralized land and just every sort of land that brings dollars to the man that owns it actually he invested almost all his money in these lands and in this way he earned a lot and lot of money from these lands he had no kith kin no kith no kin means he's saying no relatives he was just single in the world he had no relative right or if he had i never heard of it but he took a kind of pride in the queerness means strangeness of his name his name is really strange that was what brought us together just because of this name we both came into contact right i was in the law at topeka and one day i had a visit from the old man and he was tickled to death to meet another man with his own name it was his pet fed and he was dead set to find out if there were any more gaidabs in the world actually this or this uh, dead man just wanted when he was alive he just wanted some more people means around three more gaidabs with the same name and in this way according to his will he just wanted to share the whole property the whole estate the whole money everything whatever he had got equally among these three more gaidabs right find me another said he i told him i was a busy man actually when this uh, rich man came to me and uh, he put this proposal to me in the very beginning i was not at all interested and that's why i i just felt like refusing right i told i was a busy man and could not spend my life hiking around the world in search of gaidabs this is not my job no no nonetheless however he said that is just what you will do if things pan out as i planned them i thought he was joking but there was a powerful lot of meaning in the words as i was soon to discover but the way he was saying each and everything really impressed me so i i just decided so for he died within a year of saying them and he left a will you know will a legacy behind him it was the queerest strangest will that has ever been filed in the state of kansas his property was divided into three parts and i was to have one on condition that i was that i found two gaidabs who would share the remain, remainder means one gaidab i am myself and two more gaidabs i have to find right it is 5 million dollars for each if it is a cent but we can't lay a finger on it until we all three stand in a row we three turn up together appear together in the law, in the court of law and present ourselves it was so big a chance that i just let my legal practice slide and i set forth looking for gaidab i just thought that uh, my legal practice could not bring me as much money as this case so i decided to involve myself in this case there is not one in the united states i went through it so with a fine tooth comb and never a gaidab could i catch it was not at all possible for me to find out one more gaidab or two more gaidabs right so then i tried the old country i thought i should go in the old parts of the country and there and there i will be able to find some more gaidabs so sure enough there was the name in the london telephone directory i went after him two days and two days ago and explained the whole matter and in the telephone directory i came to know of mr nathan gaidab so two days ago only i contacted him and explained the whole matter to him because for me he was another gaidab and apart from it only one more get up now we have to find out that's why we are we both are seeking your help but he is a lone man like myself with some women relation but no man actually he had so many relatives but no male relative has got and this is the problem that three male get ups are to be there for this property 
so it says three adult men in the will so you see we still have a vacancy and if you can help to fill it we will be very ready to pay your charges means whatever you demand means we will be a we will be paying your remuneration charges means remuneration for the services they were getting from homes well watson said homes with a smile i said it was rather whimsical did i not i should have thought sir that your obvious way was to advertise in the agony columns of the papers shalakom is saying if you are so much anxious so much worried about uh, another guy why didn't you um, give out this matter in any advertisement in the newspaper i have done that mr holmes he said i have already done but no response i got dear me well it's a certainly a most curious little problem i may take a glance at it in my leisure means free time by the way it is a it is curious that you should have come from topeka mm, it looks very curious for me to find out that you are from topeka right so i used to have a correspondent means i used to have a friend also a uh, friend like person i used to have used to have means that person is no more now but earlier he was from topeka and he is unfortunately dead now and uh, he is old dr lysander star who was mayor in 1890 oh good old dr star said our visitor means john gaida he is saying oh that dr star his name is still honored well mr holmes i suppose all we can do is to report to you and let you know how we progress i reckon you will hear within a day or two so let me admit within a couple of days i'll be contact you again i'll contact you again so with this assurance our american boat and departed this so called american person means this john gaida just left holmes had had lit his pipe pipe you know a smoking device he said for some time with a curious smile upon his face well i asked at last i asked holmes my friend what happened i am wondering watson just wondering and what wondering at what holmes took his pipe from his lips i was wondering watson what on earth could be the object of this man in telling us such a rigmorel of lies means fake details right he is just trying to confuse us so what he is up to i just want to know i really asked him so for three times when a brutal frontal attack is the best policy you know my pattern is somewhat different and i asked him three questions in three different ways and just to confirm whether this person is genuine or fake but i judged it better to let him think he had fooled us here is a man with an english coat played at the elbow and trousers and bag at the knee with a yes wear and yet by this document yes wear it means old and yet by this document and by his own and our own account detail he is a provincial american lately landed in london so i can tell you watson he has earlier he was in america but now he is in britain right so he cannot deny the fact that first time he has come to britain there have been no advertisements in the agony columns you know he should have given advertisement but he did not give he was saying that he gave advertisement but he did not give you know i go through the newspaper thoroughly you know that i miss nothing there mean in the newspaper and they are my favorite covert means secret for putting up a bird and i would never have overlooked such a cock pheasant as that means i would have caught had he given that advertisement in the newspaper i would have gone through that i would have come to know but he never gave the advertisement of the sort i never knew a dr lysander star of topeka and topeka actually i was just using this fake name just to check his fidelity but uh, later i came to know that he was really fake touch him where you would he was false i think the fellow is really an american but he has worn his accent smooth with years of london he has got this accent because he has been in london for such a long time right what is his game i do not know and this is the thing i want to know what his game is behind the scene then and what motive lies behind this 
preposterous means a fake person search for guidance it's worth our attention we should go in depth to find out for granting that the man is a rascal he is certainly a complex and ingenious one we must now find out if our other correspondent is a fraud also if this person is a fraud or not just ring him up mr watson sherlock holmes tells his friend watson to make a call to him means that another person he was talking about nathan gaider so they just wanted to find out the reality whether that person he was talking about was real or not right so i did so watson is saying i did so and heard a thin quavering voice at the other end of the line yes yes so from the other side of the phone what was heard yes yes i am i am mr gaidab i am mr nathan gaidab is mr holmes there i should very much like to have a word with mr holmes my friend took the instrument and miss shalak holmes took the phone from watson and i heard the usual psychopanted dialogue yes he has been here i understand means now nathan gaidab is saying that he was here he came here and i understand that you don't know him how long only two days only two days before he came to me yes yes of course it is a most captivating prospect will you be at home this evening i suppose your name sake will not be there your name sake means the person with the same name and he is talking about john gaidab i hope that this so called john gaidab will not be there when we are meeting at 6 o'clock this evening so mr nathan gaidab i ready to meet us oh very good we will we will come then then mr home said that they agree because i would rather have a chat without him him means the same john gaidab i don't want to discuss anything in his presence dr watson will come with me i understood from your note that you did not go out often well we shall be round about 6 means at about 6 o'clock we'll be there and you need not mention it to this american lawyer means to this john gaidab please do not tell anything about our meeting very good goodbye it was twilight of a lovely spring evening twilight means golden light when the sun is about to set during the evening hours and even little rider street one of the smaller off shoots from the eggware road within a stone cast of old tyburn tree of evil memory looked golden and wonderful in the slanting rays of the setting sun so this is the scene how it looked at the time of twilight during the evening hours right the particular house to which we were directed was a large old fashioned early georgian edifice means grand building with a fat brick face broken only by two deep bay windows on the ground floor it was on this ground floor that our client lived and indeed the low windows proved to be the front of the huge room in which he spent his waking hours holmes pointed as we passed to the small brass plate which bore the curious name when they got over there or when they got to the building shalak holmes told dr watson everything and he pointed out a brass name plate over there on that nathan gaidab's name was there up some years watson he remarked indicating its discolored surface it's his real name anyhow and that is something to note this is point to be noted watson that this man looks real because his name plate is really old the house had a common stair and there were a number of names painted on painted in the hall some indicated offices and some private chambers it was not a collection of residential flats right but rather the abode of bohemian bachelors our client opened the door for us himself and apologized by saying that the woman in charge left at 4 o'clock right he himself opened the door because his in charge um, had already left at 4 o'clock so mr nathan gaidab proved to be a very now students look at his appearance how he looked like he was very tall Ga- nathan gaidab proved to be a very tall loose jointed and round back 
person means slightly bent in front and gaunt and bald some 60 60 odd years he was looking like a 60 year old person right he had a cadaverous face quite confusing face he had got that had no glow on his face dull face okay with the dull dead skin of a man to whom exercise was unknown he had, it seemed that he had never taken any exercise large combined with his stooping attitude to give him an expression of peering curiosity the general effect however was amiable but overall if we talk about him then we come to know that he was just a friendly person the room was as curious as its occupant the room was also looking old like its occupant means dr nathan gaidab it looked like a small museum and it was both broad and broad and deep with cupboards and cabinets all around and crowded with specimens geological and anatomical cases of butterflies and moths flank each side of the entrance a large table in the center was littered with all sorts of debris waste material right debris while the tall brass tube of a powerful microscope bristled up amongst them means this room was full of antiquities right antique pieces as I glanced, uh, glanced around, I was surprised at the universality of the man's interest. How interested he was in the universe. Here was a case of ancient coins. There was a cabinet of flint instruments. Behind his central table was a large cupboard of fossil bones. Above was a line of plaster skulls with such names as Natural Havis and Krongman Print printed beneath them and it was clear that he was a student of many subjects as he stood in front of us now he held a piece of cameo leather in his right hand with which he was polishing a coin overall students we can say this whole paragraph is about the scene of the room inside means what kind of things were lying over here and there in that room right this room in short we can say was looking just like an like a museum Syracuse means regarding Italy of the best period everything looked quite ancient he explained holding it up they degenerated greatly towards the end at their best I hold them supreme though some prefer the Alexander school you will find a chair here Mr. Holmes you please please help yourself there is a chair for you please have a seat Pray allow me to clear all those, all these bones and actually everything is uh, lying scattered here and there. So let me clear them up, M Mr. Holmes and, and you, sir, M Mr. Watson, he is telling to Mr. Watson, ah yeah, Dr. Watson, if you would have the goodness to put the Japanese was to one side, you see round me my little interest in life. My doctor lectures, my doctor lectures me about never going out but why should I go out when I have so much to hold me here I just, uh, generally I do not prefer to go out I can assure you that the adequate cataloging of one of those cabinets would take me th three good months if I clear them all it would take me around three months together so I have no time to go out Holmes looked around with looked around him with curiosity but do you tell me that you never go out he said, now and again I drive down to Sudes or Kistis, otherwise I very seldom leave my room. I am not too strong and my researches are very absorbing. But uh, you can imagine Dr. Mr. Holmes, what a terrific shock, pleasant but terrific it was for me when I heard of this unparalleled good fortune of that 5 million dollars, right. So I only needs one more guide up to come to complete the matter and surely we can find one I had a brother but he is dead and a female relatives are disqualified according to that will right so but there must surely be others in the world I had heard that you handle strange cases and that was why I sent for you of course this American gentleman is quite right and means this John Gaida and I should have taken his advice first but I acted for the best. I think you acted very wisely indeed said Holmes to Nathan Gaiden. But are you really anxious to acquire an estate in America? 
Certainly not. Actually, I, I just do not want anything for myself. Nothing would induce me to leave my collection. But this gentleman, means that, uh, John Gaidev, has assured me that he will buy me out as soon as we have established our claim. Five million dollars each Gaidev was supposed to get was the sum name. Right? And there are dozen specimens in the market at the present moment which fill gaps in my collection. Actually, my collection of things is still incomplete and I just want to complete my collection. And for that purpose only, I want this money. And for which I am unable to purchase for want, for lack of, for want of means, for lack of a few hundred pounds. Just think what I could do with five million dollars, I would do nothing. They are not important for me. Why? I have the nucleus of a national collection and I shall be the Hans Lone. Hans Lone was a person who was the greatest person of these antique pieces. So, he is saying that I would also be equal to him one day if I get this money. His eyes gleamed behind his great spectacles. It was very clear that no pains would be spared by Mr. Nathan Gaidab in finding a namesake means he would leave no stone unturned and he would try his best to find one more guide. I merely called to make your acquaintance and there is no reason why I should interrupt your studies, said Holmes. I prefer to establish personal touch with those with whom I do business. Actually, this is in my practice that I just keep details of all the people who are in touch with me in my business. And there are few, I would like to put up some questions to you. I need ask for I have your very clear narrative in my pocket and I have filled up the blanks when this American gentleman called. I understand that up to this week you were unaware of his existence. Actually, I know that you also did not know anything about this so called John Gaidem. So, I want to ask something from you. That is so, he called last Tuesday. That is why he, he called on me last Tuesday only. Did he tell you of our interview today? Mm, anything? Oh yeah, he came straight back to me. He had been very angry. Why? Why should he be angry? Means John Gadeb got angry. Why? He seemed to think it was some reflection on his honor, but he was quite cheerful again when he returned. Did he suggest any course of action? No, sir, he did not. Has he had or asked for any money from you? No, no, sir, no, never. Uh, you see, no possible object he has in view. No, except what he states. I do not believe what he says. And did you tell him of our telephone appointment? Now, Sherlock Holmes is asking Nathan Gaidab that um, um, whether he has told anything about their meeting? Yes, sir, I did. Holmes was lost in thought. I could see that he was puzzled. Have you any articles of great value in our collection? No, sir. Any precious thing? No, sir. I am not a rich man. It is a good collection, but not a very valuable one. You have no fear of burglars. Not the least. How long have you been in these rooms? Nearly five years. For past five years, I have been in these rooms. Holmes cross examination was interrupted by an imperative knocking at the door. Unexpected knocking, knocking at the door was there and they were, sh they were surprised. No sooner had our client unlatched it than the American lawyer burst this same John Gaidab turned up, burst excitedly into the room. Here you are, oh, he cried. Oh, you, Sherlock Holmes, you are here, waving a paper over his head. I thought I should be in time to get you, Mr. Nathan Gaidab. My congratulations, Mr. Nathan Gaidab. Congratulations, many, many congratulations, because I have just found out one more Gaidab now. No one can stop you and me from getting this $5 million amount, right? Our business is happily finished and all is well. As to you, Mr. Holmes, it is a good news for you also, Mr. Holmes. We can only say we are sorry if we have given you any useless trouble. So, he was feeling sorry. Actually, he was just pretending everything. He handed over the paper to our client. He stood staring at a marked advertisement Holmes and I leaned forward and read it over his shoulder. This is in this way we just overread. This is the P 
piece so this is the copy of impression of the advertisement ok students look how about guide up the name of the third guide up right and uh, it is about his profession what he does construct of agricultural machines and binders reapers steam and hand plows and drills harrows farmers carts uh, buckboards and all other appliances he deals in all these things this person ok estimates for artisan wells apply Gosbana buildings Aston. So, this is address glorious guard our host 